right, thanks Recording everyone. in progress. Continue tonight with Coach Flashell. Please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. We'll start with Trevor Thompson. Flash, you've been talking about mental toughness a lot lately. You get down early here, you give up a shorthanded goal, but you bounce back and win the way that you do tonight. How much did they show you in the mental toughness department here tonight, and in what ways? Um, no, I thought it was big. You know, I thought uh, you get down two nothing. That's a tough. That's a tough thing with what we've been going through. Um, and it's easy to fold at that point, and we, and, and we did. And I thought we stayed with it. You know, part of that is is um, you know Ned made some saves. Um, that's a big piece of this in this league is is guys making saves at critical moments, and he certainly did that, and then continued to do that through the night. Uh, it allowed us to get our feet underneath us. I actually thought our penalty kill gave us some jump uh, a little bit in the second too. You know, I thought killing the penalty. Or penalties give us a little bit of, of, of momentum a little bit as well so um, you know that's a big key um, but it was important uh, that, that we have that mental toughness things are gonna go good things are gonna go bad you gotta stay with it uh, is one win against a quality team like that at home enough to turn things around or do you need to string something together uh, to get that kind of momentum or what's your thought on how that unfolds yeah I don't think you know at, at any point um, you, you know, you have one good win. It's not going to all of a sudden make everything better if you go out the next night and you don't play as well. Obviously, we're going to challenge tomorrow on a on a back-to-back. On -back, that's a tougher one because when we get in, but we got to grind. We got to we got to you know dig in and find a way to, to to play really good and win a hockey game tomorrow night. And the more you string together, the better you feel about yourself. And it's just uh, you know, it's way more fun to win. And and so I, what I saw tonight though was a level of sacrifice that that's been missing a little bit. You know, guys blocking shots. Uh, the compete level was extremely high, um, you know, more like uh, what, it, what it was like when we were in the hunt and, and in the mix of teams and more like what it, it should be like when you're, uh, you know, grinding for a playoffs. And, and we just got to continue with the, that approach and make sure that sacrifice level's uh, really, really high. Uh, Dylan's obviously had a great season uh, offensively up to this point, but now he's at 30 and counting with uh, the games that are left to just reflect on that and what 30 means at this point. Uh, you know he's had a, he's had a, a, a good year for sure. I think he skated really well offensively with the puck. I think um, uh, Alex Tang has helped him with that. Uh, you know, talked to him a little bit about some things. Uh, uh, I think it's helped uh, getting Larks back attacking with that puck, um, uh, skating with the puck. That's his one of his best strengths, not his best, but one of his best strengths. And um, you know, it's led to lots of opportunities, and and uh, and he can score. So um, you know, he's been a, a an offensive driver for us all season, and and we're going to need him to continue that over the last stretch of games. Max Bowman. Jeff, you've talked about certain games this season as being nights you felt like the Duck just wasn't going to let you lose. Mm -hmm. You just kind of have that feeling watching him, especially the second two periods there. Yeah, no, I thought he he uh, he, he definitely. Um, you know, got got into a groove where he felt really good about it. Um, you know, it felt like the puck wasn't going to go in. Uh, you know, that's when you know your goalie's on top of his game, and, and uh, it felt like he was definitely on top of his game. Rasmussen against the Bergeron line, that's obviously a, a huge matchup in this game. What, what made you want to go to him and how did, uh, with that matchup, and how did you feel like he handled it? Um, <clears throat> What it does a little bit, you know, I've used Suter there the last little bit. At times I've used Larks, but what it does going with Ross and Sonny and Ernie was it allowed us to um, uh, put Suits with Verana and, and Zadina. Um, you know, Suits and, and Larks would be our probably two best playmaking type centers or guys that, that drive offense. And so it allows, uh, you know, for maybe offensive players that you're not looking to necessarily match be in those spots. Um, you know, I don't love uh, going Larks against Bergeron because they're, they're such a good, he's such a good defensive player that you're almost uh, new to yourself a little bit. And so I, I, you know, and then part of it is just, I think Ross has played better here lately. Um, I think his confidence is back at a, at a good spot. And when he's confident, um, you know, I think he can do what we talked about earlier today and develop into that shutdown type defense or centerman that can uh, go against the other team's best. And, and, you know, when Ernie's been in that role, he's done a good job. And I think Sonny's a guy who can do a good job in that role. Elaine St. James. Jeff, what do you like about Jake Verano? Uh, he can score. You know, he's got an elite, elite ability to score. Um, uh, you know, I think his all-around game is, is still something that has to continue to get better. Um, you know, him and I have had lots of conversations, and, and, and I think it will uh, continue to get better. Um, I like him as a person. I think he's a good person. Um, but he has a, a real elite ability to score, as good as anybody I've been around. Uh, in tight areas, just different ways, and, and you saw that uh, with the with the the second one there tonight was a was a, just a, a shot out of nowhere that that finds its way in. So, um, you know that's his best attribute for sure. Pretty nice setup on the Sedina goal as well. Do you see those two as potentially working well off one another? 
I think they can offensively, and what they got to show is that they can do it defensively, and, and they did tonight. You know, I thought they were very accountable defensively tonight. You know, last year we started them that way, and then they really struggled in their own end. Uh, and, and, and But I think that, you know, there's a, a renewed awareness, and, and I think Z, uh, Zadina's gotten better and better in, the, in his own end. And, um, you know, I'd love to be able to play them together in those situations. You go on the road, it's harder. They're going to get different matchups, and we're going to have to see how they handle it. Um, if they can handle that well, um, they certainly offensively can play off each other. Yep. Last question, answer, Akkad. Yeah, Jeff, uh, you mentioned that the, the two penalty kills in the, in the second really gave you uh, a boost. Uh, what, what was the difference tonight in the PK from the past six games? Just a just matter of execution, or what, what would you see as differences tonight? Uh, you know, sometimes the puck goes in, Ansar, and, 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 you know, sometimes it's big mistakes and sometimes it's not. You know, I think we've gotten a little bit better in some of how we handle some of the low plays that plagued us for about, uh, I don't know, a 10-game stretch where they, they seemed like they were scoring on a bunch of low plays, meaning goal line to the back post. So I think we've gotten better. We've worked on that individually. I think we pressured well. I think Larks won face-offs, and so we cleared the puck down the ice. That's probably a big one for us. You know, we haven't done that enough. Um, I actually thought... Uh, you know, there, there was times in the Ottawa game that we killed pretty good, and then and then on one little play they score, and it feel, you don't feel good about yourself then. You know, so it, it's just one of those things where it's really gone in the net, even when I think execution's been good, and it's gone in the net when execution hasn't been good. And tonight it didn't go in the net. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. All right, those are all the questions we have for Coach Blashell tonight. Thanks, everyone.